Welcome again friends, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install and dual bootless OS with Windows 10 without any data loss. You already knows that I was created tutorial on dual booting Bliss OS. The reason for recreating this tutorial is some users are facing problem to dual boot Bliss OS who watched previous tutorial, and many users are happy and succeed in dual booting Bliss OS by using previous tutorial. So I created this guide for the new users with new methods. So watch the complete tutorial and follow up steps. These things are required if you want to install Bliss OS. Now their first step is create a partition for Bliss OS. To create partition right click on start menu. Then click on disk management. Now in Windows will appear on your system screen. Now here you will have to find the partition which has more free space available. In my case Thalia Drive has more free space available here. Select your desired partition by clicking on it. Now right click on it. Click on shrink volume. Now a new window will appear on your system screen. Here you have to enter size in MB format. So enter your desired partition size for the Bliss OS. In my case I am creating 10 GB space for the Bliss OS, you can enter your desired size. Here I am creating 10 GB partition which is 10,240 MB. You can enter any amount on the basis of your requirements. Now click on shrink. Wait for a few seconds, it will take some time for creating a free space. As you can see, 10 GB partition is now created here. Now close this windows and follow the next steps. Now their second step is download Rufus USB tool. Open web browser. Search for the Rufus download in Google. Now open the Rufus.ie. After opening this site scroll down. Now click on Rufus 3.13 to download it. After downloading follow the next steps. Now the next step is download the Bliss OS ISO file. Open web browser. Search for the Bliss OS ISO download in Google. Click on the first site which is blissos.org. As you can see the website now opened. Click on download now. Now you will be automatically moved to this section. Now scroll down. Here you will have to select the operating system architecture on the basis of your system requirements. In my case my system architecture is 64-bit so I am selecting 64-bit. Here it is asking have you ever run Linux on it, select no. Now scroll down and here it is asking have you read our documentation and understand the process. Select yes. Now scroll down again. Now in this section you will have to choose the CPU which you are using right now. Here are many CPU are available here like Intel Atom, Intel i3 or i5 and many more. In my case I have Intel i3 CPU so I am selecting it. Now click on download. Now scroll down. Now this are the different versions of Bliss OS. Some were the beta versions and some are stable version, you can download any one. The downloading process is same for all version. Simply click on the version which you want to download. Wait for a few seconds. You will automatically redirect it to the SourceForge website, because the Bliss OS is hosted on this site. Wait for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds Bliss OS downloads start automatically. Now download the Bliss OS. It will take some time to download so I am skipping these steps. Now their next steps is, to create a bootable USB for Bliss OS installation. For easy purpose I created this folder on the desktop and copied the files which we downloaded in earlier step. Now open the Rufus tool by double clicking on it. This is the most important steps, to avoid data loss friends please verify and select right USB drive otherwise you will lost your data. As you can see in Rufus tool my USB drive label is 32 GB USB drive, and the name is also seen here. Here select disk or ISO image mode.
Now click on Select. And navigate to the location where you copied or downloaded the Bliss OS ISO file. Now click on ISO file. Now click on Open. Here you will have to select the partition scheme on the basis of your system partition scheme. In my case my system partition scheme is GPT, so I select GPT. Don't make changes any other settings leave as it is. Now click on Start. Here select Write in ISO image mode recommended. Now click on OK. Now a warning message has appeared on the system screen which is saying all data will be formatted on the selected drive. Now click on OK. Now the image writing process has started. It will take some time. So I am, I am fast forwarding these steps. Now the ISO image is successfully copied to USB. Now click on Close. Now restart your Windows system and follow the next step. Now the system is restarting. Press Escape key continuously when the system is booting. Now the startup menu will appear. Now press F10 key to boot into BIOS. Now we are entered into BIOS, here we have to enable legacy support. Now navigate to the system configuration tab, and find the boot options, and press enter key. Find the legacy support and press enter key. Select enabled and press enter key. Again select yes and press enter key. Press F10 key to save changes. Select yes, and press enter key. Now the system is rebooting. This is confirmation message. To save changes sometimes BIOS will ask for the confirmation. Here you will have to enter the keys which are showing in this message. In your case it will different, so enter the keys. Now again press the escape key when the system is booting. Now again we will be entered in startup menu. Press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select USB hard drive UEFI. And press enter key. Now we are booted into the Bliss OS USB drive. Now scroll down and select Bliss OS 11 installation. After selecting press enter key. Now wait a few seconds, Bliss OS loading files for the installation. Please don't press any keys. Now the partitions menu is appeared. Now navigate to create or modify partition. Now press enter key. Here select hard disk. Now press enter key. In this step find the free space which we created in earlier steps from Windows 10. In my case I created the 10 GB free space for the Bliss OS. Select it. And also remember to select new from the bottom menu. Now press enter key. In next steps remember to press enter key three time. As you can see there are 10 GB partition converted into Linux file system. Now select right from the bottom menu. And press enter key. Now here it is asking are you sure to write changes to the partition table. Now type yes. And press enter key. Now select quite from the bottom menu. And press enter key. Now find and select the 10 GB partition. And press enter key. Now select ext4 and press enter key. Now it is asking to format the partition, select yes and press enter key. Now it's start the formatting partition. Now the formatting process is done. Here it is asking to install efi grub2, so select yes and press enter key. Now it is asking to install system directory as read and write, so select yes and press enter key. Now the Bliss OS installation is started, it will take some time for the installation so you will have to wait for it. I am fast forwarding the steps to save to your precious time. Now it is syncing data to disk.
Now the Bliss OS installation is completed. Now select Reboot and press Enter key. Now the system is booting, wait for it. Now a Bliss OS menu has appeared like this. Select Bliss OS 11.11 .11 and press Enter key. Now the system is booting into Bliss OS. It is loading some process so you have to wait for it. Please don't press any keys. As you can see, the Bliss OS is now loading. It will take some time to boot into Bliss OS, so please be patience. I am fast forwarding this steps. Now the Bliss OS is successfully installed. Press space key to unlock the Bliss OS.